as I said before, uh, we are moving on with Final Fight 3. Um, if you watch the Final Fight 2 video, you'll know I talked about Final Fight 3 quite a bit. This is the uh, USA version of the game. After the Mad Gear game was destroyed, the citizens of Metro City finally thought their nightmare was over. No, if you live in Metro City, the nightmare happens every night. Without the Mad Gear to control the underworld, the street gangs fought amongst themselves for power over the city. Is there even that much money in Metro City? In the end, the Skull Cross gang reigns supreme. Arr, a bunch of pirates. Several months later, Mayor Mike Hager got a call from an old friend. Even though, you know, he's not that old. He only missed one game. If you count Final Fight Guy as a game. Look at him! Just kind of slide into the room. Long time no see, guy. How did your training go? Pretty well. I think I learned a few new moves, but I don't really- Oh, shit! And Lucia from Street Fighter V fame. Excuse me, Mr. Mayor. I'm Detective Lucia from the Special Crimes Unit. I mean, excuse me, Mr. Mayor. The city's under attack. I don't know. What? Nani? We've got a huge riot that just broke out in the center of town. I'm hungry. If we don't move quick, they're going to rip Metro City apart. That's Lucy in Street Fighter V. That's name Claire there. God, I'm going to need your help. You got it. And then out of nowhere, wait a minute, Mr. Mayor, I can lead you to them. Who the heck are you? Does it really matter? All you need to know. So here's a problem is that everyone's like color for their dialogue is not what I would think it would be. Lucia's color scheme in this cutscene is purple, but her in-game model is blue. Uh, Dean's is kind of white. Hagar's should be green, but, ha but Hagar's is white. But Guy's is always red, which is, I'm on my way. Yes, sir. Uh, and then, ellipses. It's all, it's all fucked up. You know, I much prefer the intro to Final Fight 2. In Japan, Final Fight 3 is called Final Fight Tough. It is the superior name. So here's a cool feature of Final Fight 3, if I haven't already uh, told anyone this, or if they don't know. Auto 2P play. That lets the computer be a fucking second player. Do any other beat em ups do this? This is honestly the only one I know of that lets the computer be, be a second player to you. Uh, let me know in the comments if there's another b uh, brawler that does that. A bun basher, if you will, because FF3, the only one I know. This game came out in 1995, one year, I think even less than a year, perhaps, before the N64 slash Ultra 64, it's always the Ultra 64 in my heart. Uh, came out, which is crazy to me. But I almost let the computer, you can, the computer can be where I'm gonna start with Hagar. And it's selected, you can't be the same place. Man, Hagar's mouth got real big, real fast there. Why don't we just start him off with Guy? Didia! Didia! Final Fight 3, a lot of innovations over Final Fight 2. You can dash, uh, you can hold your uh, kind of position by holding the left trigger. You can dash, you can back dash, which is crazy to me. Um, it's a super good game. It's better than Final Fight 1. It's better than Final Fight 2. There's still lots of problems with it. Um, it's... Oh, so, I'm sorry, guy. I'm sorry. Uh, fortunately, we're friendly fire even on. You don't take a whole lot of damage. This game has a lot of slowdown, as we'll see when there's a lot of characters on the screen. It just gets a little, a little much. It's very armored armadillo from uh, Mega Man X3. It's the only Final Fight game that does this. Uh, one doesn't do it. Two doesn't do it. I don't think. I'm pretty sure. Um, the other thing about this game specifically it gives you button commands for specials like Violent X, which I just knocked Guy the fuck down with. Um, everyone has a couple of specials. Actually, that's the only one with Hagar. Hagar has, like, more throws. You can also go behind like that. Um, if I can do it right. Blah, blah. And you get different throws off it. You get that, that awesome throw. Uh, it does a lot of damage. Depending on the character, um, it, it gets pretty crazy. Guy can do some things. 
uh, Dean can do some things, which we'll which we'll look at. Holy shit, the slowdown already! I don't know how people feel about it. Super Nintendo, yeah, she she makes me invincible again. We found those power ups. Uh, they're again again Ryusai in Final Fight 2. I don't know what Yashishi is. I you know I'm saying that right. I'm sorry that it's a Capcom thing. And combos in general are much crazier in Final Fight 3. Just let me do it. Just let, oh my god, guy. Guy, I can handle it. I can handle it. No way, I can't handle it. Uh. I'm sorry, guy. That's called the final hammer. Everyone has a, a super move. I believe they're just called super. And this game is like 95, so this is at least alpha one is out of the gate. Um, Darkstalkers as well, so super meters is totally a thing in this. Ow, holy shit, let me get that. It is out of bounds. I cannot, holy crap. Oh my God. Just, just the slowdown is way vicious and I remember. Here comes Dave. He's a really... I, he's just Eddie E. Why they just didn't use Eddie E is beyond me. I don't understand. But I'll, I'll give him a suplex. That's what he deserves. Uh, Dave has this dumb pattern where he just does this stupid uh, jumping, like, flat ass thing. It's very Hugo. And right now, this CPU level is put on expert level. It doesn't really matter. They'll, they're always going to die before the last level occurs. I got to kill Dave before Guy does it. Guy did it. Fuck me. Whatever, he helped out. And then... That's a good fanfare. And then we just walk past the semi-truck. Once the battle had been won, it quickly became clear that the riot was simply a smokescreen, you bacchanas. The Skull Cross gang had staged the riot to keep the police busy as they freed one of their leaders from prison. Good stuff, guys. Sorry about before, there just wasn't time to explain. There... there was? My name is Dean, and I used to be just another fighter on the street fighter circuit. I like that bit though. But when I refused to join the Skullcross gang, those maniacs slaughtered my family, family. Now I'm going to hunt down every last one of them down. Who translated this and make them pay? Thanks Dean for your Twisted Metal FMV backstory. Here's round two. One thing in general about Final Fight 3 is that it's really, really easy. Shit. I'm not gonna scroll off screen. I want Guy to, to pick up that weapon. Because I talked about this in Final Fight 2, but every character has their own individual weapon where they, oh man, uh, where they can get combos off it. If I pick up that Nunchuck as Hagar, it's not really gonna be that useful in my hands. Guy, get these Nunchucks, Guy. Nunchaku guy. Oh my god. He's not gonna do it. Hagar's brain would melt at the very thought of holding nunchucks. He doesn't know what they do. He doesn't know what they mean. I gotta super someone real quick before I get a little antsy. Uh, no. Not him. Oh, him. Sure, fine. Billy. He'll die. Uh, Hagar super's called Final Hammer. Which is a great name. Uh, I believe guys is like 100 hit punch. I think. Uh, Dean's, of course, is called Scrap Dunk. It's a great name as well. Lucia's is called Hard Hit Me. Not great. Not the best. That guy, RB, no Fat Jack. There's RB and Fat Jack. They're huge, huge threats. I almost have Super again, which is good. So here's our first deviation in the game. It's something I really, really hoped we had time to do in the takeover, because I love it. Um, but if we break open this doorway, we get into the bar, and then we fight the boss of this stage in a different area. And you actually clear this this level a bit faster by doing it. There we go. You just have to hold up there. Agar will go in. I really like this. I think it gives beat-em-ups uh, a bit more variation um, to explore all the different routes. I think it's cool. We find the boss. He, gets, he just shows up. He's Call Man. I guess he's like a bouncer. I'm not really sure. He feels like he really fits in in this level because we're in a fucking bar. But then he just shows up later in the level where he's just like in a park. It's kind of weird. 
This is also May that I'm tossing around. She's the first and only, uh, oh wow, a female character that appears in an American Final Fight game that was released uh, because all the other games did uh, palette swaps to, to make her male. Billy and Sid, uh, Leon, and whatever that we played in Final Fight 2, played against rather. Um, but Final Fight 3, by 1995, I guess no one really gave a shit anymore. Capcom was like, yeah, this is fucking stupid. Why do we keep doing this? It's fine. Oh, I did it! Good. I don't want to, you get a big point bonus if you do it. So if Guy does it, I'll, I'll lose those points. I mean, there, there's moments of slowdown. It's great. Uh, um, if it's a lot, then it's, it's less great. This is another stage that has a uh, different route. We're going to get to it in a second. If I can avoid it, I'm not going to do it. Um, but I'll, I'll obviously talk about it. I think I've talked about this in, in previous videos I've done. But uh, that's another great throw of guys. You can actually throw the guy people down and just start wailing on them. It's it's pretty cool, actually. So you want to be careful. I can't control it if Guy does it. Guy just did it, but he just broke that bus stop sign, which means the stage is going to end right here really, really fast. Uh, if not, we get to go to a whole other area in a junkyard and we fight a pretty annoying boss, to be fair. His name is Kane. He is actually a huge problem. I hate him. But because a uh, guy broke that bus stop, the bus is not going to show up, and we just end the stage. Which is cool, because round three over, bitch! And we go to an alternate round four. There's a whole other level that you miss if you don't do that. It's super cool. I wish more beat-em-ups would do it. I think Streets of Rage 3 does it a little bit. I know the Streets of Rage remake does it a whole lot, and that's really cool stuff. I was saying before that Final Fight 3, out of all three mainline Final Fights, it's the easiest one. Um, I don't know why, like, I think it's because the AI is just maybe not that great, or they just do less damage overall, or the fact you have so many special moves and options and stuff, you just just do way more damage than you would otherwise. Um, I was saying this a little bit in my Final Fight 2 brawl through, that I, I, I actually think Final Fight 2 looks a little bit better. The sprites have a bit more detail, they have this kind of slight arcade grittiness to them that Final Fight 3 lacks. It's a little more clean, um, the, the sprite work is just a bit more simple. And all the character designs, I feel, are not as strong. Like, a lot of the enemies, bosses too, are just, I don't know, not as interesting to me. Uh, Skull Cross Gang doesn't really leave an impression like Maggear did, even in uh, Final Fight 2. So, I don't know, that's just my feeling. It just, everything's a little more generic. Guy, okay, you're just running against the box. And it's a real shame, if you could just combine the graphics and some of the impact, I find generally uh, moves and 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 uh, sound effects to be not as impactful in this game as I do in Final Fight 2. Uh, they're just a little bit softer, they're a little bit weaker. It's like the gameplay is all here. If I could just, I wish I could make like a ROM hack, Mugen whatever, where I just combine certain elements of Final Fight 2 with Final Fight 3, fix up the slowdown, that'd be a sick ass game. I'm just a reminder to everyone who may not have watched the Streetwise thing that I'm doing right now, is that it's the 30th anniversary of Final Fight 1 uh, this year, this month specifically. Final Fight 1 came out in 1990... <laughs> I want to say 89 or 1990, whatever. Capcom has done nothing. They're, they've announced nothing. I kind of even sort of thought maybe uh, I'm gonna pause right here before a guy does something stupid. I kind of thought maybe Capcom would announce like a little collection for Final Fight, but no, we got nothing. So we're gonna get nothing. It's gonna be one of those many games that they just kind of ignore or whatever. But uh, we, guy, do you want to pick up this health? Pick it up. I don't think the AI picks up stuff. Anyway, instead of going down, so this is a very interesting route actually. Before I stop giving out about Capcom. If you go in through there, we're going to find some boxes, and there's going to be a couple of um, enemies in there. If we don't go in there, we can go up here and fight on the top of this boat. In which case, we miss a cutscene, I believe. If you go up here, we fight a couple of very similar looking enemies. 
So we're gonna go down here, actually. Because I, I do believe we get a, a, an additional cutscene if you go in through here. Anything under here? I always check to make sure there's, there's foreground objects have some type of power up there. God damn it, you guys. This is another standard combo in, in Final Fight for pretty much everyone. Two punches followed up by a special move input. So it's two punches and for Violent Axe, it's just a Hadouken motion. Uh, same thing for almost everybody. Guy especially. Here we have a next, bo next boss. He's Drake from Toronto. He used to be uh, in Degrassi, the next generation. And now he makes hip hop songs and kind of tweets and hangs around with p uh, perhaps actresses that are maybe a little young for him. I don't know, I'm just saying. Oh, bam! SPD, son. Been a yeah, Hagar's bicycle shorts win. So, this is a great bonus stage. Okay, I want to go down maybe below so I don't hit, hit him. Okay, he doesn't care. Guy's just gonna... This is how good the AI is in, in for your computer control buddy friend. I don't know what they what they did to get into that situation, but we, we saved the day. I don't know. We just finished on that boat, and then we jumped onto this pier, and then bam, bulldozer! I'm not sure a bulldozer would be held up by that pier. Anyway. The cargo hold of the ship reveal a huge stockpile of super cool weapons. Looks as if the Skullcross gang was smuggling weapons for someone. The only clue is a manifest with the words Sims Incorporated scrawled across it. This cutscene does not feed into the main game, just letting you know. So the really cool thing is that we can actually go backwards and and find the missing level that we skipped. Because that round four that we just did on the ship is actually an alternate round four. There is another round four in Chinatown uh, that, that we kind of skip by doing that. So we can actually find a shortcut in here to travel back to the past to play the awesome brawlers that kicked ass. Uh, I think I'm gonna do it because it's, it's a whole other boss fight. We already skipped one boss by not fighting Kane. Uh, in round three. This is one of the things I love about Final Fight 3 so much. Again, if I can incorporate some things from Final Fight 2 and a Final Fight 3, like, I will work with people to make this happen. I would love, love, love to do that. What happens is that once we finish that round, we'll revive, uh, uh, arrive, and we come out of the ground! We'll actually come back to that stage so you won't miss anything. Uh, it, it's just super, super cool, and as a kid, I didn't even understand it. It was just things that you would find, because of course, the internet in 95, 96, not really much of a thing uh, to look up stuff like that. Was game FAQs around? I don't know. It was just one of those things you would experiment with and find. And that's something that hopefully, uh, in the future, and a future update for the TakeOver or um, TakeOver 2, it's something we can implement because it does take a lot of work to just rejigger how everything works and get into different levels and building those levels. And it was something that me and the main designer of the TakeOver talked about, but we never got to do, at least uh, as, the, as of the time of uh, this video. Who knows what happens in the future, but hopefully we can do that. Because I think it's a really cool thing for beat em ups to be a little less linear than completely linear, you know? I was just trying to remember for the longest time, because when I would play Final Fight 3 just casually, I would actually would skip this level quite a bit. But I'd see it once or twice ever, and I'd be like, wait, I thought there was another stage in this game that I was just, like, kind of casually skipping by it, not knowing I was skipping it, and not knowing that I could go back to it like I just described, so it's neat. It's one of the better visuals in Final Fight 3, honestly. Because like I've already kind of said, I find the sprite work to be a little less detailed. Like, you know how there's that new, or you know, by the, by the time you see this, probably oldish um, remake of Ninja Warriors, Ninja Warriors again on the Switch and, and PS4, I think? I would love that company to get to remake some certain games for Capcom, Konami, they're all beat-ups, because they can do super cool looking high-res sprite work, and it just looks so much better than it used to. If there was like a Final Fight remake done by those guys, oh my god, that'd be a dream come true. 
uh, for me personally. Uh, 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 Natsume Atari, I believe their name is now, or they're called Team Tango. Uh, whatever, you'll you'll see me talk more about that Ninja Warriors remake in my top 10 videos of the year video, which hopefully I can get before the end of the year, but I won't. So the problem is that we're halfway through the game and I still have four lives. I'm probably not going to die anytime soon. Uh, so maybe I will just to select another character. Uh, one thing about the takeover, and I think me and Liam have or will talk about, is that there's a system in there called Relay System, which you can get by uh, playing through the game once or twice. And it basically lets you switch characters on the fly just by double jumping. Uh, otherwise, you're kind of stuck with your character until you die, and if you know the game well enough or the game is easy enough, that's going to be hard to get. And just to rotate through the characters kind of fast, it's, it's, it's a cool feature. I kind of wish this game would have it. There's certain beat up, so I'm like, oh, that'd be cool. Now we have Wong, uh, kind of another forgettable boss in Final Fight 3. I, I, I've said this before, but in Final Fight 2, I find the bosses pretty good. Um, I like their designs. Uh, Wong is not one of them, unfortunately. Uh, he looks like not out of place in a lot of Capcom beat-em-ups, but he's just not that memorable. I'm just saying. I do have Super, which is cool. Uh, maybe I can get it. I don't know. That hard knock down my guy. Here we go! Get ready for the ride! And we still have two more life bars that, like, Supers, well, they're super useful. Aha, get it? Um, they don't do as much damage as, like, let's say, I don't know, a super combo in Street Fighter Alpha. So what I actually want, people have asked me, like, uh, since I made some tweets and, like, you know, statements about Capcom, like, really nothing for Final Fight. Is that Final Fight Double Impact, great collection, good stuff. Um, but why these ROMs are uh, just locked to the Wii U, and even 3DS is, like, weird to me. I mean, just a Final Fight collection. Final Fight 1, 2, and 3, Mighty Final Fight, and if possible, Final Fight Revenge. I'm not even going to assume that Streetwise should be there. So we actually skipped back to round five, but the next section of round five, it's cool. I would really love it if just a collection of that, you know, a collection of artwork on there, uh, un unlockables, whatever, that's, that's all I would want. You don't even need to put online play, I don't mind. If you don't, a double impact on online play. Did Capcom beat em up collection of online play? Whatever. That still had just Final Fight 1 arcade. For whatever reason, Final Fight 2 and 3 have never been re released on anything but Nintendo consoles, which is kind of a shame. Yeah, I know they're Super Nintendo originals, and I get how there might be some weirdness around that, but the Mega Man X collection came out on everything else. The Mega Man Legacy Collection did, and those were on Super Nintendo and NES games, so I don't think there's actually a reason not to. Like I said in my Street First Streetwise video, it's like, this this franchise helped solidify Capcom. Like, it changed the direction of Street Fighter 2. I think I've talked about this in videos before, but Street Fighter 2 would not exist in the way that it does if not for Final Fight, because it was almost the exact same team and they were told make a new Street Fighter and they were like well let's just Street Fighter 1 was such like poorly received that we're just gonna make a completely other game um, it, there's some confusion about that but you know the, the two franchises are, are very much weaved together and I'm really happy that lots of Final Fight characters show up in Street Fighter games to this day and it continues the storyline of Cody, Poison, all that stuff, even uh, Abigail. So I'm really happy that exists, but it's still locked within Street Fighter, and, and specifically locked in Street Fighter V, which is not the Street Fighter you want to be locked into the most. It's still really sad Hagar's never gotten into a Street Fighter title. Yeah, Marvel 3 and Marvel Infinite's fine. That's okay, cool. Um, it's still not where I want to see Hagar in. I'd rather see Hagar in a Street Fighter title. And there's more than enough room for other grapplers. There really is. Even if they have one or two similar moves. You have you have Shoto's. It's not that big of a deal. 
I just said. So this is another neat little area. Uh, you see these big green doors. You can actually throw people through them. And it leads to little optional rooms that have some power-ups and stuff. So we're going to investigate each one. It's just a little room. That's all it is. But sometimes there'll be something to break. Sometimes there'll be a item. Like a one-up. Thank you. It is really cool. But I really wish more BMS would do this. And you can just leave whenever you want. And go back outside, right outside the door. Well, let's just... Wait, wait, can we leave? When will we leave? We actually go through here. Where does that bring us? And that skips the room, the rest of the room. Here's another thing. If we break all those weird, uh, I don't know, computers, whatever they fuck they are. Guy, don't actually break them. Get down here. If we break all those computers, that ends the round for some reason. I don't know why. Guy, don't break all of them. I actually don't want to do this because we'll skip the boss again. And the boss here is hes an, a pain to fight, but he's still kind of cool. If you break all of those, it'll just say like round five, like uh, finished. And I'm like, okay, cool. I guess we destroyed all the Mad Gear Commodore 64s. Fucking weird. I go back uh, to this little level here. It's such a weird thing that the frame rate uh, craps itself a lot because this is like a later year Super Nintendo title. If anything, they should have like pretty much gotten used to how the Super Nintendo works and how to program for it. So I don't know why there's so much slowdown when Final Fight 2 had almost zero. All right, so guy just died there. There's nothing I can do. I can't continue for him. Maybe if I had a second controller plugged in. Uh, but but he's but he's dead now. I can't press start. It just pauses the game with da na 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 na. So we're running solo now. Thanks, guy. Uh, Hunter would be a good person to do a final hammer to. Or Ray. I didn't mean to do that. That was weird. It's a weird motion too. To do most supers, it's grab the enemy. Except for Lucy is a little different. But grab the enemy, then like do kind of a reverse Hadouken motion, like forward to down, and then attack. Sure, whatever you like. All right, boss, maybe. No, there he is. He's a fucking neon 90s warrior. It's Stray. He's, he's a pain in the ass. He's, he does these attacks. He does like this dashing punch and he's got these spiked gauntlets. He's an asshole. I'm just gonna be real with you. I don't know why the round ends if you destroy his precious, precious IMAX. I, I don't really understand why that works, but it works. Maybe he's like a tech genius. All right, another super on him. You get two supers. I'm pretty sure you can get at least three. On, on any decent boss in this. Maybe not Dave, that memorable boss, if you remember him from like 30 minutes ago. Come on, SPD, SPD! Yeah! All right, so that's round five completed. We are now in round six. Oh, sorry, never mind. Break computer! Destroy the technology! Oh my god! I have to break computer, but the oil drums are working with computer! Oh, Lord. Lord in heaven. Oh, oh, fuck. Break computer! Break computer! I broke computer! Stop all the downloading! So, the trail of the Skull Cross gang led them back to the city where they started. Inside one of the largest buildings in Metro City, the final fight is about to begin. I see what you did there. And there's not Rolento. Even though he's a lot like Rolento. So fortunately I made it this far as Hagar. Like I said, the game is not a, not a hard beat him up at all. So I'm just gonna let myself die here so I can select another character for y'all to see. Probably gonna go with Lucy. Alright, Hagar's dead. He's in this horrible, horrible death trap. We'll let him sweat it out for a bit. Oh, I saved him. These portraits are not super great, but let's take Lucia. So now we're Lucia. Um, she's pretty cool. I, I like her a bit better than Mackie now she plays. She's a lot of kicks, as you can see. She has a lot better reach than Mackie, that's for sure. Um, she also, her dashing attack is this little elbow, leads into a combo. It's actually really good. I like it a bit better than Agar, actually, since Agar just has cl the clothesline. Uh, she has this great arcing kick. 
Uh, she also has that. You can you do that in the air by doing a Hadouken motion. It's pretty cool. I think that's what she has in Street Fighter V or some variant of it. And that's her Mega Crush, this spinning majig. Again, I think it's a lot like Street Fighter V. She's got a straight up German suplex. I loves it. So hard hit knee is hard to do. Unfortunately, it does suck enemies into it, but yeah, it's not super dependable to do. You do a dragon punch motion with attack, you do this uh, cool kick, and it's kind of what leads into some good combos. If I can not get my ass killed. Yeah, that does do a lot of damage. Unlike, let's say, Mackie, I'm pretty sure you see his damage output's a little bit better than hers ever was. So a lot like Final Fight 1, we're going to like the big downtown place with this fucking power loader from Aliens. It's another level like around 5 where you can throw people through these little doors. It actually helps quite a bit. Pretty sure there's some power-ups in there. Or maybe not. Yeah, no, that, that water cooler, that's a power-up. God, I think that the thing, thing's from Forgotten Worlds. The Capcom shoot 'em up. Who remembers that one? It's a one up. Never mind. It's still super useful. Ow. Okay. Well, it's fine. <laughs> look, at that, look at that! All three of them. Nice. If it go all the way over here, it doesn't matter. Lucia's just gonna be like, no, no, no. Gotta go back. And I'm like, okay. And look at that. It looks like a pulse rifle from Aliens. It's weird. All right, you got flamed up, Arby's. Oh God, there's a bunch of maze. <laughs> You're invincible through most of this, and you'll sometimes hit nobody. That's how undependable uh, Lucia's super move is, virtually. Oh god, maybe this wasn't the best room. Okay, well, I'm gonna take care of everybody. And then once I'm done that, I'll, I mean, I'll get health back. Barbecue is full health, I'm pretty sure. Extra life too, nice! But you wanna try to grab that before you kill every single person, because uh, then you're just gonna auto walk. Let's get that now, just in case I get hit. Okay, those are the that that that's the end of all those little fun doors. That's the elevator, of course, because you're playing a beat 'em up near the end of the game. There's gonna be an elevator. Yes, 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 yes. That, that, that's the one advantage of Lucia's uh, super move is that's the only one that can hit like multiple people. Like some aspects of the other supers, like guys and Hagars, because they slam people around it can hit but for the full combo yeah it's only lucia's which is which is the cool aspect of it actually oh shit so many joes if your name is joe in the comments let me know i don't i don't even know where i'm going with this anymore i don't know what it is it's just some capcom designer is like how about an elevator filled with joes and you're all like okay i guess come on last joe last joey joe joe Jesus, die. Thank God. That's the end of the JoJo elevator. Alright, we're not quite there yet. We have like a little floor or two to, to clear. But we're getting there. To whoever is the not Rolento at the head of the Skull Cross game. One good thing about Mei is that uh, her palette type doesn't do any fucking flippy whippy shit. Like we've been dealing since Final Fight 1 and Final Fight 2, so that's good. But she's still annoying because she does backflips. And nobody likes anyone that does backflips. Nice. Oh, Jesus. I kind of needed that. There's going to be more, though. Oh, there's going to be way more than that. Oh, shit. That's your really only... And that's not your only option, but it's your only good option. Oh, shit. Come on, Andore. I don't need you right now. All right, there you go. Last Andore. Now we're going to see a thing. It's going to be cool. I only have two lives left, though, so it's not the best. Yeah, that's that's the final boss. Helicopter. All right, so here we go. There he is, this not Rolento, driving up in the Cap 25. So this guy Black, I don't know. He's a weird guy, he, he has some special moves, he has some patterns, he's a lot more interesting than Retu from Final Fight 2, but I don't even know if I'm gonna beat him with only like one, one and a half lives. Cause he does that, 
There's not much you can do about that, except avoid it. Hey, there was knives and shit! I don't have a vertical wall, what am I supposed to do? See, he's about to do, like, a blue fireball, they just take, a uh, guy's sprite. And that's it, they just, just take his fireball thing. It's, it's a little cheap, but what can you do? Alright, that's good, that's good. But he's still on a white health bar, it's bad. And then he just goes right through my super. I like that. Be a miracle if I if I beat this. SSS miracle. Fuck. All right, that's it for Lucia. I guess we should move on to Dean. Fortunately, we start right here, so it's not too bad. Dean's idol pose. I don't know. He's, he's kind of a dork. He's like a weird character. He's not slow. He's not normal. He's not fast. He's like a weird hybrid character. I do have this move where I can reach and grab like this. That extends my grab range, which is neat. So it makes him a neat character, I guess. Oh my god. Also has this weird electric move that I can't do because Black's just wrecking my ass. That. It stays out for a long time. You can just throw it out and by the time it, it, it's actually almost finished on the animation. Whoever's gonna get hit by it. Okay, I'm almost gonna have it. It's gonna do that. No, oh, there you go. Oh, nice. Well, kind of. I lost health on it, so. <laughs> almost have super, so the scrap dunk can be performed. Ah, uh, uh, scrap dunk. Didn't even kill his life bar. Okay, now that we've moved into this range, you see, he's really close to the danger vaults. Oh god, what's gonna happen? It didn't work! Oh, it's so nice! I- Skullcross Gang did something! Oh wait, no, go back to the vaults! No! I'll- I'll, I'll do his Mega Crash just because I have the health for it. Nice! He even dropped a knife! I didn't know that could happen, actually. I guess you can hit the knives out of midair. Like when Lord Al got electrocuted by the bushwhackers. And of course, thousands of small baby bombs are triggered with that uh, power outlet being destroyed. Capcom explosions ensue. I guess that case is closed. But the city is in shambles. Well, that's a job for Mayor Hager. Don't remind me, guy. And look at look at Dean's shitty walking animation. Look at that! By the way, what do you have planned? Hey, Dean! My fight is over, but I won't forget that I owe you a favor. Whatever. I didn't ask for your life story. Thanks. I guess. Thanks for playing, let's play next level. Now I'm also good. I think you get one extra st story scene uh, if you play on hard. Uh, if I practice a bit more, I could play on hard easily, but hey, this is just casual for funsies. Brawl throughs, if you will. Uh, so that's Final Fight 3. As I've already heavily discussed, there's parts of it I really love and parts of it I, I wish were improved, but um, that concludes uh, just final fight, like mainline uh, playthroughs. Uh, in the playlist, I'll I'll have linked in the description. I'll have all my final fight content there because someone's got to celebrate Final Fight's 30th anniversary because Capcom refuses to.